just one more thing. To as many as receive him, to them he gives the right, the privilege, to become the children of God, a child of God, through Jesus Christ. You know, receiving him and embracing him is the key. You know, I remember the day that, that uh, I asked my wife to marry me. I got on my knee and I lift, held her hand and I asked if she would accept me in marriage. Would she accept who I am? Would she accept what I have to offer her? Would she accept making and developing a relationship and a life with me? And she said, yes, thank goodness she said yes to me. Yes, I will. You know, that's what the Lord Jesus is doing right now. He is bowing his heart and his knee to you, and he's reaching out to you, and he's drawing you close to him. And he's saying, will you receive me? Will you receive who I am? Will you receive what I have to offer you? Will you develop a relationship and a life with me for now and throughout eternity? You know, the key to it is you receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. So all you got to do is reach out to him and say, Lord Jesus, I accept who you are. I accept what you've done for me on the cross of Calvary. I accept that you are giving me an offer to receive you into my heart and who you are and what you have to offer me. And Lord, I thank you. I desire now to develop a relationship with you. And Lord, I thank you for calling on me, for looking at me and saying, come unto me and I will give you rest. I want to thank you for that. I thank you that you are moving in my life right now to make me a child of God. Just one more thing. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. And you'll never, ever regret it for now and throughout eternity. God bless.